Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, I will show you how to link WhatsApp to another device. So I'll be showing you th this on your PC as well on your phone here. So the first thing that you want to do here on your phone, since this is the first thing that I'll be showing you, is you want to first remove your SIM card from your phone. You So you should not have your uh, SIM card on your other phone when you start creating or linking your account. So I have my phone here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to open up my WhatsApp application. Now in here, I just want to click on agree and continue. And once here, I just want to click on the three dotted icon that you see at the top right of your screen. And from here, just choose the link to existing account. So, all right. So if you don't see the link a device option, the secondary phone cannot have the SIM card in it when set up. You can put the SIM back after everything is synced. Like what I mentioned before, your phone or your SIM card should not be in the device itself for you to see this setting here. So uh, what's going to happen here, it's going to show this QR code here, which we could actually use later on. Now, same thing, we want to do this on our PC. So in our PC, you just want to type in WhatsApp. Now in here, it's going to give us results. So we want to go to the web version for WhatsApp. So now here in the WhatsApp web, it's also going to give us our QR code that we could actually scan for us to connect that device into our account. So now let's go to our main account. So I am now here on my other account. So the first thing that I want to do here is I want to click on the three dotted icon that you see at the top right of your screen. And from here, you want to click on link devices. Now from here, you want to click on link a device. And from here, it's going to prompt or going to open up your QR code scanner. So from here, you just want to scan your QR code. So maybe on your PC or in your mobile device, you'll have to do scan your mo uh, uh, QR code here. So once you've done that, it's going to actually start using your account and connecting your account to that other device. As you can see right now on my uh, PC, on my browser, I can now access all of the messages that I have right now on my PC. So if you receive any images or any one-time view images on your uh, other phone so you won't be able to view that in your pc but you'll be able to view that on your original application like for example you receive this uh, message on your mobile device then you will be able to view this on your mobile device and yeah so that's about it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you could use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video